Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, we have this question right here. It's asking the man has weight W and stands at the center of the plank. If the pla planes at A and B are smooth, determine this tension in the code in terms of W and theta. So, first of all, what we have to do is we have to put the forces acting on this. Since you know there's a force acting perpendicular uh, uh, vertically this side, and if you see in perpendicular there's a force acting perpendicular this side and the tension is going to be upside and these are the force right here so let's name it let's say this is normal force a and this is normal force b and this is going to be tension right so since we have this information what i'm going to do is uh, to calculate um, to get rid of this i can we have two unknown here so to get rid of this i am going to use the, the movement around B. If I take moment around B, this will cancel. It. So let's do that. So sigma moment around B is going to be equal to zero according to statics. And this is the information. And let's see if I take uh, and also here's a weight acting. This man is right here. So his weight is going to be acting directly downward here. So it's going to be directly horizontal uh, W and it's. Uh, distance is going to be L by 2. He's exactly in the middle. Uh, it's, and it's also straight, uh, states the center of the plank, right? So it's L by 2. And let's see. So moment around B. So we have uh, so we have this information. Moment around, the total moment around B is going to be 0. And we, these two will cancel. So first of all, uh, let's take a uh, clockwise positive so if I take clockwise positive this is going counterclockwise so I have to put negative in front of it and it's going to be W is the force W times the distance is L by 2 L by 2 and uh, one more thing it's acting it's pushing this object up therefore it's pushing this clockwise therefore it's positive so it's going to be Na times L and uh, and don't forget guys this is not a straight line right here's a phi here that's the angle so we have to use cos phi cos phi and plus this is uh, this n a is in the l l distance the total distance l so it's going to be n a times l cos phi L cos pi and the total total moment is zero. Mm, now I can solve for n a. So if I solve for n a, n a cos n a cos pi times l is going to be equal to uh, w l by two l by two cos pi. So since we have, we can cos pi cos pi cancels l l cancels. So n a is equal to w by 2 so this is one information we have and the next thing is we can now find the x uh, x components of this and see what we can solve for that so if I take total uh, x components in this one it's going to be 0 in statics so if I take this side positive it's going to be uh, this is nb right this is uh, <coughs> making 90 degree to this and since this is like this if you draw a line right here this angle and this angle are going to be same so this since this is theta this is going to be theta 2 therefore this is theta and if you draw a line here since this is making 90 degree with this one this is going to be theta here yeah. so we have this information let's see how we can use this so we have to find all the horizontal horizontal component of this so for this one it's going to be t cos theta t cos theta and for the nb it's going to be nb sin theta but this this is in the positive direction this is going other side so it's going to be negative nb sin theta 
so these these are vertical components so we can't take it so these are the only horizontal components so this this is going to be equal to zero now i can solve for one of this so let's solve for t so if i solve for t so going to be t is going to be equal to nb sin theta over cos theta So this is my t now uh, let's take the y components i do this one here it's going to be sigma f y the total y is going to be zero in statics and if i take the upside positive let's see what happens so this is going to be t sine theta and it's going upward so it's positive and nb cos theta is it's also going upward so positive and then what else we have weight is acting downward so it's going to be negative and we have na going upward it's going to be positive so so since we have this information right here let's see what we can replace with this we have t n b sin it over cos theta i want to replace this with, with this one so it's going to be n b sin theta over cos theta multiply by sin theta and plus uh, we have n a i can plug for that one let's copy this as same cos theta minus w n a is going to be w by 2 right equal to 0 this is equal to 0 so if i i can take the n um, b common here for this one too I take this w, w, w by 2 minus w is going to be negative w by 2 so if I bring to the other side it will, it will become positive so this is going to be positive w by 2 after the equal sign <coughs> here we have only two things left but uh, I can take the nb common if I take nb common it's going to be sine square theta or cos theta <coughs> cos theta and here we have only cos theta right so this is going to be in the bracket cos theta the whole thing is going to be equal to w by 2 so now what we can do is i can take the common den denominator as cos theta so if i do that it will become sine square theta plus cos square theta over cos theta so this whole thing is going to be equal to w by 2 so as we know already um, <coughs> sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so nb can be written as 1 over cos theta is equal to w by 2 so nb is equal to w by 2 <coughs> cos theta so that's what they are that's what they are asking determine the tension in the code in terms of w theta so we have found this one they are saying determine the tension in terms of w and theta so since we have this one here i can plug this nb value for here so this is my nb value i can plug this nb value for tension tension is going to be equal to w by 2 cos theta times sin theta over cos theta so cos theta cos theta cancels so tension is going to be equal to w by 2 sin theta so this is my final answer and this is how we do this question i hope you guys like this video see you next time